I was always curious about, uh, about visiting Pakistan, especially, honestly, I would love next time I will come to see the mountains. Uh, I always was uh, looking for pictures of, uh, of the mountains and uh, the landscape of Pakistan and then the art, uh, the um, tiles and um, geometrical motifs that are used in uh, mosques and buildings and that has always fascinated me. So I was hoping to see that, I've seen that. I am Ulrike from Italy. Uh, I am a classically trained portrait painter basically. Uh, I paint portraits, still lives and landscape from life. Uh, I was trained in Florence at uh, an atelier called Charles Sassel Studios. And yeah, I've been trained in the um, old masters techniques. I have some fellow artists who came to do a landscape tour at Hunsa Valley with Ahmad and Dastangoy. And um, I've seen that and I, I thought it was amazing. Therefore, I applied straight after. <laughs> The other artists that I met here, uh, they have all something I would like to treasure, to keep and treasure and develop. You know, I learn from each one of them something very meaningful to me. We all work in different ways and and also I have, I am appreciating so much who Ali is and Ahmad like um, welcome and how they make us feel at home. And uh, I would like also to repro like, you know, to feel this way at home as well, you know that's nice to share time and ideas, so. Dastan was started by my wife and myself about two years ago now. We started this because we didn't have a relationship with Pakistan relationship. I was born and raised in the United Arab Emirates. I was born and raised in, Dubai, in Sharjah and in Dubai. So the way Dastan came about was we had a thesis that we don't write Pakistani history, we don't write so much. We're not very good at transcribing. We're very much better when it comes to oral storytelling. So when we sit with dad and dad, when we tell you stories, when we listen to stories, that kind of, you know, you remember that and you take that forward. But when you think about like reading books, like with us, it's a problem that I don't read Urdu. So we wanted to do something that allowed for people like myself, people like my wife, who's the co-founder of Dastan, going to be able to connect with Pakistan, right? And when we started doing these Zoom sessions, which is how Dastan Goi kind of started, we got, you know, Yusuf Bashir Qureshi, Zeb Bangash, Misha Shafi, um, Sarmat Khusert, all of these guys, you know, we would just reach out to them on Instagram and or, or on emails. And Alhamdulillah, they were like very, very kind to like, you know, someone who they didn't know, they would be like, you know what? Yes, let's, let's, let's do these sessions. Let's learn more about our country. It evolved into, you know, the property that we are in currently, which is um, the residency, where, which is where the residency takes place. It was so inspirational for us, you know, what my brother and my father have done together in creating this space, you know, creating this farm. We wanted to share it with people. We wanted to bring people over here just to be able to experience the same kind of creative inspiration that it allowed us to experience and for others to be able to do it. And, and set up a program that brings artists from all over Pakistan initially because flights were closed and we weren't able to get international artists. But this year, where I'm currently sitting, Alhamdulillah, we have five artists um, from all over the world, from Iraq, from Iran, from Italy, from Pakistan. And it's, it's so incredible to see because, you know, the last week and a half, they've been interacting, they've been sharing experiences, they've been experience, sharing stories and cooking together, working together, being influenced by each other. And that's what I want for the Asangoy to be. Uh, that's what I want the Asangoy residency to be. It's for an exchange program, for people to come here and when they go back or the time that they spend here, for them to be able to understand what Pakistan means to people, not to the stories, not to the headlines, but to individuals. Like I would be scared and I would be, I would not say that I'm proud to call myself Pakistani two years ago, three years ago. Today, I very proudly say that I am Pakistani. And I think that's because of the last two years. And I think that's because of what we've been able to build with Dastan Goy. It's because of the people that we've been able to meet. It's because of the, the extreme beauty of this country and the extreme beauty of the people that have shared their journey with us, that have shared their time with us, because without them, we are nothing. <laughs>